come join me while we ride the rails in Train Simulator. This is Gene Horn, and this morning I like to do some switching. I'm going to zoom out here and uh, go up to the control tower and see what my path is to get to our switching points just up ahead. So we'll be coming out of the yard and coming into these spurs here in this industrial park. And we're just going to switch out a few cars. To be honest with you, uh, when I got done filming this, uh, yeah, when I got done filming this, this, uh, It was an uh, hour long, and uh, so what I want to do is, I don't want to make this into a let's play, uh, because uh, and with a let's play, you know, you're, uh, it's real time, but I do want to truncate this down from being an hour long uh, video to one that's just... 30 minutes or so so it's sort of like a let's play but uh, just come along with me as we exit the yard and enter into the industrial park and switch out a few of these cars this is the uh, West Palm Beach Miami to West Palm Beach a 70 mile route I just picked up <laughs> during the Steam March Madness uh, sale, and it was it was wonderful. I had to put this on my wish list because I live in Florida, and I, at one point I lived in West Palm and worked along the West Palm to Miami area uh, doing some service type work. Uh, don't get me wrong, I didn't work the railroad, but. Uh, <laughs> Here we are, I'm going to just uh, uncouple these first two cars uh, and then take them down into the spur and drop them off. But yeah, but what I'm, what I'm going to do here is uh, kind of truncate the video by not going real time and skipping over some points, but uh, just hit the highlights. And particularly this first drop off. Uh, I'm not going to show you much of the detail here. Just I'm going to drop off these two. Uh, throw the switch and, and push it on back. Now the Miami, the West Palm Beach uh, downloadable content. I've been wanting it for a while. It comes with this beautiful engine you see. It's the CSX AC6000 CW. It's a General Electric engine. With quite a bit of horsepower to it. So uh, I just skipped over the whole thing here where I dropped off the two cars and I'm pulling back out uh, from the drop off of that spur. And uh, once I reconnect and we go on down to the next industrial park, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit more video on the, on the switching. But as you notice, I'm coming up on the roadway here, so I'm going to need to stop the engine, let out a flag man, and stop any traffic. Uh, obviously, I don't, there's no traffic today. But... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the, wave the uh, engine on through. But the Miami to West Palm Beach route uh, off of steam during the March Madness, they actually had a 60% off. Now I've gotten, during the holidays, I've gotten this, this routes for as much as 75% off. 60% off ended up being a very good deal. 
And it comes with this engine, and it comes with 70 miles of track between the Miami and the airport there and industrial parks. 70 miles right up into the West Palm Beach area, all along the Florida East Coast. Backing up now to hook back up to the rest of my deliveries. The route has uh, 18 stations along its length. So it's, it's really uh, appeals to those who w want to run the Amtrak commuter rail line. And I did, and it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. I want you to see here that uh, before, as we connect up, I had locked uh, the handbrake on this front car. So I'm re as you hear, I, I just released the handbrake. And uh, reconnected the the hoses, the, the brake hoses and uh, brake lines, as you say. We need to run the brake test uh, before we go forward. And once we complete that, we can head on down to the next uh, next spur and switch out some more cars. Yeah, and so the 60% sale had a, it was a, it was a good deal, and so I picked it up. Um, and then for an additional dollar, it throws in the GE uh, Seaboard engine. Uh, the U36B, Seaboard GE U36B. I'm not riding that today, but it does throw that in. And so, for an additional dollar, I got the combo pack, in, in a sense. So, I got the Miami to West Palm Beach with this nice CSX engine AC6000CW and the Seaboard GE U36B. So, uh, I thought it was a good, pretty good, pretty good find. It, uh, I think it was $16 total, 16 or $17 total when I got done. Uh, so... If you want anything on Steam, they always have these deals during the holidays and March Madness and Memorial Weekend and July 4th. So what I do is I, anything you really want, uh, these routes are expensive. If you, if you were to buy all the downloadable content, you'd spend over a thousand dollars. I think it's crazy. It's just, uh, it's really a... It's really terrible, but uh, I know a lot of you out there do buy these things, but I do too, and I, I really wanted the West Palm. I do have a bunch of freeware, uh, I do have a bunch of freeware routes that I like to do reviews on one of these days when, when I'm not doing my saltwater aquarium videos or my model railroad videos, but uh, to get back to do do a few reviews on Train Simulator. So, uh, keep, uh, keep on trucking along here. <clears throat> this route has the cabbage palms, sable palms, and all the Florida scenery that I'm accustomed to. Yeah, I've wanted this route because I, for a few years I lived in West Palm Beach. Uh, I live north of there now, but still go down there into the Coral Springs area, Fort Lauderdale area for work a few times a year. But uh, I really enjoy the modern 50-foot cars and switching industrial parks and and, uh, we're kind of back in well, well backing down at this at next to industrial spur here 
then we're going to have the same sort of issue where we got to cross over the roadway. Kind of give you a forward perspective on that. Stop the train, let the flag man kind of walk his way down there, and then once again, there's no traffic uh, to, uh, on this road at the moment, but we'll back our train on through. <clears throat> now, uh, yeah, I, I d was interested in the, the Amtrak commuter train. Uh, that's quite, if you're into passengers, there's, like I said, there's 18 stations that drop off passengers and pick them up. And uh, I've, I've been doing a few, a little bit of that, running those trains. And that's a lot of fun, keeping the timetable and all. Uh, so this particular route has a lot to offer. At least I think so. I, I like it. I had the New Jersey Transit route uh, that I downloaded. To, well, I, I think I got that actually as part of a package when we upgraded it to 2015. Or is it? Uh, maybe it was before that. I don't remember anymore. Running the Amtrak passenger trains is, is fun as well. So this uh, spur has got branches off into three. We'll break here and disconnect so a disconnect here and drop off those two cars Because these front two we want to exchange. So it's actually the front two cars with the that's uh, with the engine that I, I'm going to want to drop off and uh, in exchange for the for the empties down the spur. So pull forward here. And now this whole industrial park area is 50 miles an hour. So we gotta keep our train speeds down. So just like uh, we, we should, we're crawling along here. Uh, you know, usually around 10 miles an hour. But one of the things I kind of wish was a part of the train sim world would be the uh, being able to ride, uh, ride the ladder on the tail car. And I kind of pretend I do that by doing a focus, uh, but unfortunately the, when you do a focus uh, on, the, on the back of the train view, it focuses on the center of the car, so you kind of swing around and, and uh, act like you're in the tail section, or riding that. Uh, so you can't ride exactly, if you want to look back, you can't ride exactly on the ladder there but yeah so like I said I, I can't ride the very back ladder but I I swing around and I ride that forward one as I'm looking back and the only way to ride the back ladder is to is to um, swing around and look forward and actually you're not riding the back ladder per se you, you you're not you're not really clipped on to that so when you go around bends and stuff in train simulator uh, you know you, you get you, you kind of move on and off of the view so we throw the points and we're back on in to pick up the, the couple empties that are on the track right now waiting to get picked up it's a little difficult because all the cars are the same color so uh, take a look at the numbers when we get a chance here but <clears throat> okay so what we want to do is we want to back into these two empties 
split and I stopped a little short. But I've crashed into plenty of cars in my switching experience. So stopping a little short here and then giving a giving this last push down to my truck length and slamming in. Okay, connect up the air hoses. And now I got to tell you, uh, so I picked up these two cars and what we're doing now is we're clearing off the spur so the front two can get pushed back uh, and replace these back two. So since the, the back two em are empty and I'm picking them up, I'll need to uh, put them onto the front of the train. And that's what I'm working on now. Yeah, here I'm, I'm riding this, pretending I'm riding the ladder here. But as you see, as we bend around and stuff, your view gets tweaked. Yeah, it would be nice if they uh, they had a way to just hang on the back. On the caboose you can. On the caboose you can kind of ride the, you know, the, the, the back of the train. Which I like that, that feature. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> anyway, let me get off here from riding. I get that, one of the disappointing things that uh, uh, that was part of this download, though, uh, I really do enjoy it. But there is a there is a disappointment. It, it came with uh, a couple of career scenarios, uh, but that's it. It didn't have any other scenarios it didn't have any f uh, free roam scenario or standard scenario and so I uh, I'm really running a free roam scenario now but I had to create it myself so what I'm doing is I'm going to throw these two empties uh, and attach them to the front of the train which I left uh, back behind us here you really do have to uh, learn how to do some of the stuff on your own, like creating your own content. Because if I didn't know how to create my own free roam scenario, my own scenarios, uh, I don't know how. I mean, I would pretty much be stuck with the, the one or two career scenarios that they give you, and I wouldn't be switching. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why they don't always offer you some more options and scenarios so I do recommend you you learn how to create some of your own content at least how to create a scenario I do have another video that shows you some simple ways to do that <laughs> here here again I stopped a little short got a truck length short after you slammed in a few of these you you get a little bit more cautious. There we go. Actually, I did not, when I dropped off the train, I didn't leave myself enough room uh, to switch out two of them. So I got to push back a little further. I wonder if the rail, uh, the rail, <laughs> what if the actual yard crews have these same sort of issues I guess through experience I imagine they do but through experience it happens less and less but I didn't quite give myself enough room so hey so I'm learning and getting some experience here today And it depends on how far you want to walk, too. So that's plenty of room now. I can drop off the, the, those two empties, uh, which are now attached to the train, and uncouple here. Actually, I want to set the handbrake on the, the 988. The 728 988. Set the handbrake on that one. 
and uh, then I can pull forward. No, I hadn't tried the new train simulator yet. There's a new simulator out called Train Simulator World, and uh, it looks phenomenal. It really does. But uh, eventually, I'm going to break down and, and, and get that. But right now, the the old train simulator that uh, I'm riding today, of course, that you're watching, uh, I already have a lot of downloadable content. Uh, and it's quite nice. You know, the HUD, I... A lot of times when I do these videos, I, I try to uh, release the brake, uh, put it in reverse, give it a little notch, go backwards. Yeah, a lot of times when I do these videos, I, I try to do it with the full screen view with no HUD. Uh, kind of give it more of a realistic, actually, actually being there fail, but... Uh, I'm leaving the HUD up, at least in this, the, the smaller HUD here on the bottom of the screen, because I had discussed before getting a little noisy. I had discussed before how I wish I, they had simulated some way uh, a brakeman. Uh, and what I'm doing today is I'm playing both parts and you're seeing the control tower, you're seeing me in the cab, you're seeing me as a flag man, brake man, uh, which usually is your, um, your conductor. But the HUD, actually, if you just want to stay in the cab all the time, you can almost get away using the HUD as your uh, conductor but I do like getting out and seeing what's going on so I'm setting a break a handbrake on those two uh, so they're delivered and now I can head off and uh, pick up the train So I got two deliveries done, and one, and a couple cars picked up on this one. Yeah, so in some sense you can use the this HUD as your brake man, but it kind of, it's kind of disappointing because it doesn't show you in the HUD. If you're backing into a train, it does show you the cars behind you that are on the train. But if you're backing into uh, into a spur that has some cars that are unhooked, it doesn't show you those cars until you slam into them. So um, it does show you. Huh, here's a kind of a the control tower view, but it uh, it does show you if you s switch on over. Since we only have the engine here, we just use the the, the engine handbrake uh, instead of the full train brake. Uh, but it does show the the end of the spur, and but it doesn't show you where the where the car would be. Now, if you're good at creating your own scenarios, you can put little markers down, and as long as you park your trains right on the marker then you can kind of back up to the marker and, and see that but that would see because you can see now I switched over to where I could see the the yellow where the rail goes blue to yellow and then the actually end of the spur but I, I can't see the train I'm backing into at least I can't see the cars I'm backing into if any of that makes sense but yep yeah so 
Now I can. See, I hooked into them and they pop up on, onto the HUD, into view. And I go back to the, uh, to the other view and I need to release the handbrake. And so I'm staying in the cab to give you, give you an idea of how this would work if you wanted to stay in the cab as the engineer and use the HUD as your, as your brake man. play conductor through the HUD but now uh, yeah we definitely need to perform a brake test when we hook up to the full train again so that usually takes a couple minutes but it's up to you how much you want to putz around with that we do have the air brake pressure meters And uh, we're ready to take off. I noticed when I got this download of uh, what Miami or West Palm Beach, it seems like there's some new sounds been added. Uh, there probably p sounds particular to this engine. But even uh, the c uh, running the rails on the cars. Uh, maybe it's just me, but it seems like I'm hearing some sounds I hadn't heard before. stopping here again for the road yeah I've picked up some freeware uh, downloadable content that's fantastic for switching one is in Wyoming and another one is in Industrial Park uh, where is that? Uh, on the near uh, a marina and there's two separate downloads that I really love that are free uh, that I need to review sometimes so you guys can, can take a look at it oh I have uh, so I got the two empties I picked up and it looks like I got three more deliveries to do but uh, it's, it'll be more of the same, of course. But actually, like I said, this took me an hour. And what I wanted to do is not have you live through an hour of... Not have you suffer through an hour of switching, but... Uh, just kind of give you some of the highlights as they went along. So not just uh, not the same as doing a a let's play, but uh, or a live stream, but just to kind of give you a, a feel for this Miami to West Palm Beach scenery pack. At least this one little area in Hialeah on the southeast coast of Florida. Uh, but there's a lot more scenery as you go up to 70 miles of coastline, so it's quite nice. Uh, maybe I'll post some more on this, but uh, we'll see. there's uh, quite a detailed industrial park to have here down in the Hialeah area. And like I said, it's detailed actually all the way up the whole 70 miles of the route. Down in Miami, the Fort Lauderdale area, you have the airports. And you have jets flying over and taking off and landing. It's, <laughs> it's quite well done. Oh, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you next time.